Members of the PCCA at Gibbs Art Club took their talents on the road over the Thanksgiving holiday and created a new mural at the Sand Pebble Resort on Treasure Island. Art teacher Brian McAllister brought us up to speed with the club's latest project. We've been in talks now for about a year because it's been we've been so busy, um, and now we're finally getting a painting, which is is awesome. This is actually a great place to paint. It's not too windy. It's got some shade. It's cool. It's a good time of year to paint, so it's a good time to paint it. We work a lot with the client, and um, you know, and, and get get a feel for what they're looking for, um, and then we have to take our artistic license and, and and kind of marry the two together. So there's a process that we go through where we submit a couple different ideas and um, let them kind of have a voice in which direction they want to go. And then once we um, figure that out, we can finalize the design, work on the color scheme, um, and then lay it out on the wall and let these guys fill it all in. I'd say the most difficult part about these projects is probably the, the time it takes, because you need to put a lot of effort in every day. You need to give it your all. And by the end of the couple weeks of painting, you get pretty tired. Normally we, we function as a club where uh, we have club meetings and, um, and do club activities, club field trips and stuff like that, but this year has been a little bit more restricted with everything going on for COVID-19, so now all these students are here on a volunteer basis. Um, we've had these contracts lined up for a while now, so um, when it came time to um, do it, they actually have to come and volunteer on their own um, as opposed to where we're operating as a club. So. Um, you know, they, they uh, come and volunteer, and um, it's open to anybody that wants to grab a brush. So it's not just exclusive to visual artists. Um, we have a, a wide range, a wide variety of, of uh, uh, majors at, at PCCA, but it's also open to the traditional population there as well. So, um, you know, really anybody at Gibbs High School, teachers, students, faculty, anybody wants to jump in, we'll, we'll put a brush in their hand and get them painted always been interested in painting as more of like a hobby and side thing. My main thing is that I'm a singer, but I also love painting, so I wanted to do something that involved that at school. It's completely self-sustaining, you know, uh, we work with clients and, and all their donations go to the kids and into the club and into that account, and um, it's an, uh, you know, all the proceeds go there. Um, I usually charge, you know, based on the law and size and scale and detail and complexity, so there's a lot of factors that go into um, pricing Miro, but in the end, um, all that funding goes back to the students and to our school and helps us buy equipment, uh, rent equipment that we need to if a business can't front that, um, that cost initially. So we can extend that as a service sometimes. Um, you know, and then we like to do a big end of the year field trip. We try to go to Bush Gardens with all the kids and um, they have a lot of fun. And it's really interesting to see some of these quiet kids get on a roller coaster because they're not so quiet. And, <laughs> um, it's, it's, uh, it's really all about the kids in the community. So. Um, you know, these guys have done a, a tremendous job over the last three, four years uh, with building up the club and um, helping build the founding that, that can help um, drive this for years to come too. So really, really excited to be, be able to work with this kind of group of students.